Welcome to Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Ilsung, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I protect data in GCP using my own externally stored encryption keys? External Key Manager provides you with this new solution that allows you to use and store encryption keys outside of Google Cloud to help protect your data rest for BigQuery and Compute Engine, as well as for direct symmetric key encryption with Cloud KMS. And with our partnerships with Equinix, Fortanix, Ionic, Talus, and Unbound, you have several great options for storing your keys. The benefits of using an external key management system can be significant. First, you can have full understanding of your key provenance. This means that you can confidently state where and how your keys were generated, where they are located, how many copies of the keys exist, and verify this information with your own audit logs. Next, you control the access to your keys, which will only exist in your key manager outside of Google Cloud. Without access to those keys, access to the associated data rest in BigQuery or Google Compute Engine just isn't possible. And last, External Key Manager allows you to centrally manage your enterprise keys for both on-premise and in the cloud. This provides you with a single potential place to enforce policy and may facilitate hybrid scenarios. Now, let's take a look at a demo that shows how to use External Key Manager to use a key in Fortanix to protect your data in BigQuery. So the first thing I'm going to do in this demonstration is to show you how easy it is to create an externally managed key. So when you create the keys, you'll see that the, the UI is a little bit different now, and you have now have this option for externally managed key. And when you select that, you basically select a key. So let's just call this an EKM test key. And then you actually have to provide the key URI. And in order to obtain this, you have to go and talk to your external key provider, and they should be able to provide this for you. I have happened to have done this already, and I put into a Fortanix system. And once I add create, You'll verify that the key exists, and then voila, there it is, e EKM test key exists. Now, when I switch over to BigQuery, I already have a data set that's already using that EKM key to protect this data. And so, of course, if I run this, it's going to show that it, the data is available, which is what you would expect. Now, in order to show that this is actually tied to that external key, I'm going to go to the Fortanix dashboard, and I'm going to disable access to that key, so that key is no longer accessible to EKM. And once I go back to BigQuery and hit Run, you'll see that the query actually says that the request cannot be fulfilled, the external key is not available. And so to re-enable the scenario, it's as simple as just going back and re-enabling the key, as I've done so now, go back to BigQuery, rerun, and the query once again runs. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.